Hi guys, Leong J Mathematics here. Today, we will be using FX570 ES Plus to handle our quadratic equations okay, in modern maths. Now, so in modern maths, right, uh, suppose uh, when we do, when we, when we talk about this factorization thing, right, so suppose you have to use an X method that your teacher mentioned it to you. Uh, because in textbook, they suppose they do that way. Lah. Now, so what happened is since now we are using technology, we'll be having it in a shorter way, in a hacking way where we go backwards. Okay, so just a quick one again on your general form. Uh, your general form is like stated on top from, uh, for you already. A, a x squared plus b x plus c equals to zero, where your main focus is on x squared, x and without the x. Uh, x means power one. Uh. Now, of course, you need your A, you need your B, okay, so I just curve, put a curvy line there. You need your B, you need your C. Now, so when you come into case number one, okay, something simple, I already prepared like three different cases for you to handle. Uh, so, using your calculator over here. Lah. Okay, so first thing, in order to enter into quadratics world, so what you do is you press mode one time. Okay, unlike your, if let's say you're using this calculator, which is FX570MS, right, uh, you will be pressing it like a few times on the mode, right? right? So for this case, press one time, and then you in enter into this screen where there is a five here that shows EQN. So you press number five. Uh, so after you press number five, so you have your one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four over here. So what you select is, you select number three. Uh, so you press three. Okay, so as you can see, I've been using this like for, for quite some time really because this is like my favorite calculator. Okay, now so when you come into this case, you have ABC stated on the screen. Unlike the other one, where you press like more, is it one, two, three? You press one right now. Ah, then when you press it one more time, you go into degree, you press two, then you enter into A, then another screen B, another screen C, then you come up answer, right? But for this case, it will be faster because it comes up A, B, C already. So you just insert nicely your A, okay, your A. So for this case, ah, I'll come in, come, come into this first number case, our uh, first, first case. I'll come into first case. So A equals to what? B equals to what? C equals to what? I have to state it out. Lah. So my x square, my x, my without x, everything is nicely there already. So I'll be getting out my A, my B, okay, and my C. Now, so for this case, my A will be 1. Lah. So my B will be plus 1. Lah. Okay, my C will be minus 12. So I put here 1, 1, and minus 12. Okay, so when I insert it inside, right, so I have my 1. So I press 1. Okay, so as you can see, when I insert it right, so positive, I didn't press positive. Lah. Okay, so I press 1, then I press equal. I press 1, then I press equal. I press the next one, negative 12. Uh, then I press equal. So when I enter into this negative 12, right, uh, so I press equal it one more time, so I will get my first answer, x1 equals to 3. So again, if let's say there is only one x over here without the 1 here, right, then you have to copy it two times, okay, for your quadratic. But for this case, there is x1, so we, press, we write x equals to 1, comma, we press equal one more time, we get the second one. So x equals to negative 4, okay? I'm sorry, I write wrongly here. So can you see this one is like x equals 3? Uh, so again, uh, so x number 1 is 3, okay, x number 1 is 3 here. Uh. Okay, and after I press equal one more time, it's negative 4. Okay, so after you get this one, so suppose, uh, right, like what I mentioned before, the proper way of doing it is supposed to be the, uh, the try and error method, which is like a cross line. So you should be doing it in this sequence, okay, where you have to handle the bracket, okay, the factorized bracket first, then only you come into x equals to 3 by using some proper calculation method. But since we are using calculator, we are doing a backwards, okay, we are doing a backwards, so what we get here is the answer, then we work backwards to write out the two brackets to get our full marks in our SPM, okay? So now, in order to complete this, we have to bring the 3, which is a positive, to the other side. So plus 3, bring that, you get minus 3, right? So x minus 3. Now for this case, you bring your minus 4 over, you get x plus 4. Uh, so after you state this out, done, done. So that's how you complete your quadratic equations. But of course, this question over here is like kind of easier now, okay? So let's increase the level a bit. Okay, so how you reset it, okay, into the normal calculator state. So what you do is, now see ya. Uh, so, uh, of course, in your in your FX570 MS, you have to press shift, then you press mode, then you press two or three, right? So for this case, no need, just press mode, and then you press one, it enters into the normal calculator state, really, okay? So nothing special. Lah. Now, so when you come into this case, right, case number two, uh, so standard, you have your ABC, lah. so A, B and C. So I'll be repeating one more time. So Y squared is there, Y is there, okay, then without Y is there already. So my A is 6, 
my B it's negative 29 my C it's positive 35 which is a positive 35 lah. okay so now press mode one time equation press 5 then straight away enter into number 3 can you see x square x and without x so you press number 3 then now you insert your A uh, so what is your A? A is 6 uh. then what is your B? negative 29 then what's your C? 35. So once you insert it, you press equal, then it comes out first X answer already in your improper format. Okay, improper format. Improper as in improper fractions. Huh? So X equals to, you see X1 there, right? X1 equals to 5 over 2. Then comma, because there is a X1 there, so it means there is a second answer. You press equal again, you get 7 over 3. Okay, so let me put, put this down aside. Okay, let me show you one more time. So do you notice the unknown given, it shows y. So that's why you have to be extra careful, uh, extra careful because in your calculator, they, they default it into x. So you have to make sure you very, very careful about the unknown stated there. So you just change it back to y, okay? Make sure that. Uh. Then because of the fraction, okay, we work backwards to get the answer, right? So fraction always of course, just as I already say, you have to make it into improper fractions. So you bring your 2 over, you get 2y. Okay, because, because the divide 2, bring it over, you get times 2, right? So y times 2, you get 2y. And then you bring your plus 5 over, you get a minus 5. Okay, so repeat it one more time. Huh? So it's like a hacking way. Okay, it's a trick to work backwards. Okay, this is not a proper way of writing it because proper way is supposed to be the try error methods. Huh? Okay, so what we do here is we are working backwards. Okay, sort of like a heck okay so bring your 3 over you get 3y bring your 7 over which is a plus plus x uh, bring it uh, plus 7 sorry plus 7 so you bring it over you get a minus 7 uh, so that's how you hack them okay finally here okay so try one more time so we have shift we have shift uh, sorry mode 1 uh, then you go into the normal state right so one more time uh, mode 5 3 then your A, number 3. Then your B, negative 10. Then your C, minus 8. Okay, so you insert it. So you get your first answer is 4. So X equals to 4, comma. Press it one more time. So X equals to negative 2 over 3. So be careful. Huh? Okay, just a trick. Lah. Whenever you get a negative for your answer, right? So always put a negative on top. It will be easier for students to handle. Okay, so bracket, bracket equals to 0. So now work backwards. So x minus 4. You can refer to the workings at the side. Just I explained already. Then you bring the 3 over. You get 3x. Bring the minus 2 over. You get plus 2. So that's how you complete it. But of course, all the circle, all the arrows, everything, please don't write it in your exam. Okay? So that's all about using fx570es plus to hack your general form. Okay? Your quadratic equations. Like the video. Subscribe. Tag around with friends. That's all about it.